A community is coming together to help find a missing Georgia grandmother. Valeria Robinson disappeared on May 22nd. Tonight, more than 100 people came out to support a family fearing the worst. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy joins us live tonight. Jamie, the family is just very emotional, understandably. Brittany, family members were brought to tears today, speaking about a woman who was so full of life. They are hoping someone can help them locate Valerie Robinson in what is such a strange case. There was nothing more powerful than the word of God. And Lillian Rainwater is a grandmother without a granddaughter. And I love her. I won't tell her. Anything you take. Do it You'll be telling the bald face lie if you say God ain't never done nothing for you. Tonight, over 100 people came out to say a prayer in the hopes of understanding what happened to Valeria. Right now, God, they need you. Valeria Robinson was reported missing on May 22nd and was last seen at 2061 Peckerson Road in Atlanta. Her mother, not able to speak, now lays awake at night. All I want is closure. I cannot sleep at night and cannot eat. She was last seen by the family with William Watley, who owns the Peckerson Road house. The family went to Watley's house to confront him about the whereabouts of their daughter and heard a loud boom. Police say that's when Watley shot himself in the face. He survived and is recovering in hospital. When police entered Watley's house, they found both fresh blood and dried blood inside, along with blood footprints, but no signs of Valeria. The family says they'll never give up searching. I want the world to know if it was your family, if it was your daughter, your granddaughter, your mom, you would be out here doing everything you can. You would want somebody to tell you something. There's no way in the world you want to wake up every morning to nothing. The family is offering a $15,000 reward on any information on the location of Valerie Robinson. APD says their investigation is ongoing. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.